In graph theory, a clustering coefficient is a measure of the degree to which nodes in a graph tend to cluster together. Evidence suggests that in most real-world networks, and in particular social networks, nodes tend to create tightly knit groups characterized by a relatively high density of ties. This likelihood tends to be greater than the average probability of a tie randomly established between two nodes. Two versions of this measure exist, the global and the local. The global version was designed to give an overall indication of the clustering in the network, whereas the local gives an indication of the embeddedness of single nodes. Global clustering coefficient The global clustering coefficient is based on triplets of nodes. A triplet consists of three nodes that are connected by either two or three undirected ties. A triangle consists of three closed triplets, one centered on each of the nodes. The global clustering coefficient is the number of closed triplets over the total number of triplets. The first attempt to measure it was made by Luce and Perry. This measure gives an indication of the clustering in the whole network, and can be applied to both undirected and directed networks. The global clustering coefficient is defined as. In this formula, a connected triplet is defined to be a connected subgraph consisting of three vertices and two edges. Thus, each triangle forms three connected triplets, explaining the factor of three in the formula. A generalization to weighted networks was proposed by Asal and Panzerasa, and a redefinition to two-mode networks by Asal. Local clustering coefficient The local clustering coefficient of a vertex in a graph quantifies how close its neighbors are to being a clique. Duncan J. Watson Stephen Stragors introduced the measure in 1998 to determine whether a graph is a small world network. A graph formally consists of a set of vertices and a set of edges between them. An edge connects vertex with vertex. The neighborhood for a vertex is defined as its immediately connected neighbors as follows. We define as the number of vertices, in the neighborhood, of a vertex. The local clustering coefficient for a vertex is then given by the proportion of links between the vertices within its neighborhood divided by the number of links that could possibly exist between them. For a directed graph, is distinct from, and therefore for each neighborhood there are links that could exist among the vertices within the neighborhood. Thus, the local clustering coefficient for directed graphs is given as. An undirected graph has the property that and are considered identical. Therefore, if a vertex has neighbors, edges could exist among the vertices within the neighborhood. Thus, the local clustering coefficient for undirected graphs can be defined as. Let be the number of triangles on for undirected graph. That is, is the number of subgraphs of with three edges and three vertices, one of which is. Let be the number of triples on. That is, is the number of subgraphs with two edges and three vertices one of which is in such that is incident to both edges. Then we can also define the clustering coefficient as. It is simple to show that the two preceding definitions are the same, since. These measures are one of every neighbor connected to is also connected to every other vertex within the neighborhood, and zero of no vertex that is connected to connects to any other vertex that is connected to. Equals network average clustering coefficient equals. As an alternative to the global clustering coefficient, the overall level of clustering in a network is measured by watson stragors as the average of the local clustering coefficients of all the vertices. It is worth noting that this metric places more weight on the low-degree nodes, while the transitivity ratio places more weight on the high-degree nodes. In fact, a weighted average where each local clustering score is weighted by is identical to the global clustering coefficient. A graph is considered small world, if its average local clustering coefficient is significantly higher than a random graph constructed on the same vertex set, and if the graph has approximately the same mean shortest path length as its corresponding random graph. A generalization to weighted networks was proposed by Barrett A. L., and a redefinition to bipartite graphs by Latapi A. L. and Asal. This formula is not, by default, defined for graphs with isolated vertices. See Kaiser and Baumpautis al. The networks with the largest possible average clustering coefficient are found to have a modular structure, and at the same time, they have the smallest possible average distance among the different nodes. References
P. W. Holland and S. Lenhart. Transitivity in Structural Models of Small Groups. Comparative Group Studies 2, 107 a Euro 124. A. B. C. D. J. Watson Stephen Strickles. Collective Dynamics of Small World Networks. Nature 393, 440 a Euro 442. Bibcode, 1998 Nature 393 440 W. DOI, 10.1038-30918. PMID 9623998. R. D. Luce and A. D. Perry. A Method of Matrix Analysis of Group Structure. Psychometrica 14, 95 a Euro 116 DOI, 101007 slash BFO 2289146. PMID 18152948. Stanley Wasserman, Catherine Faust. 1994. Social Network Analysis, Methods and Applications. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Tora Sal and Pietro Panzareza. Clustering in Weighted Networks. Social Networks 31, 155 a Euro 163 DOI, 10.1016 JSOCnet. 2009.02.002. AB Tora Sal. Clustering in two-mode networks. Conference and workshop on two-mode social analysis. Kemper, Andreas. Valuation of network effects in software markets, a complex networks approach. Springer. Pages 142. ISBN 9783790823660. Barrett, A. Bartholomew. M. Pastor Sitaras, R. Bespignani, at the Architecture of Complex Weighted Networks. Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences 101, 3747 a Euro 3752. ARZIV, condition at slash 031416. Bibcode, 2004PNAS 101.3747BDOI. 10.1073 slash FNAL 0400087101. PMC 374315. PMID 15,7165. M. Megnian, C. Del Vecchio, N. Basic Notions for the Analysis of Large Two Mode Networks. Social Networks 30, 31 a Euro 48 DOI. 10.1016-JSOCnet. 2007.04.006. Kaiser, Marcus. Mean Clustering Coefficients, The Role of Isolated Nodes and Leafs on Clustering Measures for Small World Networks. New Journal of Physics 10, 083042. ARZIV, 0802.2512. Bibcode, 2008NJPH. 10 hours 3042k doi, 10.1088100083042. A.B. Baumpautis, D. Murray, R.M. Networks with the smallest average distance and the largest average clustering. A.R. Ziv, 1007.4031, Qbio. M.N.